All right, so that was said that Buruddin, there, India's permanent representative to the United Nations, and to discuss the ramifications of what in fact happened this closed door meeting yesterday, we are joined in by my colleague Sidhan Sibyl, who's been tracking the developments very closely for us. Good morning to you, Sidhan. So, this, this meeting did indeed take place. Give us an upshot as to what exactly has transpired and what it means for India and for Pakistan. Well, it's a big, big development. Uh, it's just dawn breaking here in New Delhi, but it was a long day in New York where we saw diplomatic victory for India and how Pakistan and the Chinese attempt to international Kashmir uh, was a big failure. We know uh, that uh, the UNSC members uh, did not agree to bring out a statement and Pakistan, in fact, wanted an emergency session of the United Nations Security Council to discuss Kashmir in the aftermath of New Delhi's internal decision at the request, at the behest, in fact, of Beijing, which did not happen. We saw uh, how the three envoys uh, also did a briefing uh, in which, of course, the Indian envoy uh, not only took uh, question and answers, he took three questions from uh, Pakistani journalists and responded them pretty well. So, by and large, uh, a strong message this time was sent not only from Delhi, but uh, a message from New York that when it comes to uh, Kashmir, it's India's internal matter and whosoever tries uh, whether it's Islamabad or whether it's Beijing, they will be getting a strong response. And uh, India's friends as well helped uh, at the United Nations Security Council, whether it's America, whether it's France, uh, allies who have been back in New Delhi in its, uh, uh, in its uh, uh, entire, uh, uh, entire process, which, started, which was started uh, by the Chinese uh, trying to rake up Kashmir. Absolutely. And also considering the fact that Pakistan also is claiming that, look, uh, you know, the issue of Kashmir was discussed with the UNSC, you know, w within closed doors, they claim this as a victory for them. But is this not a hollow claim? Well, of course, Pakistani newspapers have their own version of history, as always, when it comes to International Court of Justice, the Kulbushan Yadav case, or the present case which happened at the UNSC. They, they're claiming the victory, but that that's not the case. In fact, they have been reporting uh, that it was uh, a meeting which took place after many, many decades, specifically on Kashmir. It was not a meeting. It was consultations on how to react on Pakistani Foreign Minister's letter earlier uh, this week uh, in the aftermath of India's decision, India's own internal decision and the reaction was quite muted. The reaction was basically that India and Pakistan should bilaterally resolve issues under the Shimla and the Lahore agreement which has been the long standing policy of New Delhi and uh, new, uh, it's, it's now very very clear that when it comes to raking up Kashmir, Islamabad will not find any traction in global capitals right. from New York uh, to, of course, many Muslim countries. And uh, this is something that uh, the Pakistani foreign minister deep inside uh, knew about because we saw uh, he did a briefing and he said that nobody is waiting at the UNSC with a garland of flowers. And that came true. Absolutely, indeed. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Siddhan Sibyl, for joining us.